uh, hi in this video we are going to see how to convert json to csv data so in order to do that i'll just create one mule project and i'll call this mule project as json to csv demo so this is the mule project name i'll just click finish as we are going to transform one format to another format i'm going to use some transform message in between my flow and how i'm going to trigger this flow i'm going to add a http listener and this listener i'll just keep all port as a default configuration so i'll just click listener and add connector configuration and i'll leave everything as a default port 8081 and then i'll click okay so once i give okay we have to set the the resource endpoint path here so which you will set it so as of now i just gave okay and uh, once it's available then we will add it see here now i'm going to add a path name so i'll just add for this demo i'll just uh, name my endpoint as demo and now i'm going to add transform message from the mule palette i'll just drag and drop it here and whatever the data i'm going to send it through http which i'm going to receive it here and i'm going to convert that as a csv file so in order to do that i need output as a csv format i'll just go to csv and whatever the payload json is coming i wanted to change it to csv format okay so whatever the entire payload i'm going to convert that as a csv output so that is what we are going to see now i'll just save this one and i'll start this project Meanwhile, I'll open the Postman application and I'll post some test data. And also, I'll just open the Notepad and I'll just frame some data. So basically, what we are going to do is we are just going to convert some JSON to CSV data. So in order to show that, I'll just have two records in that particular file. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a JSON file and I'll start with array. Okay. So if you want to keep multiple records, then you need to have an array. So I'll just keep array structure and inside that I'll just have object. Okay. So object can have multiple key and value. So I'll just keep one object with name and I'll say my name Arul comma and I'll say ID and this is like a employee id and then i'll say this is 1001 and i'll have one more field called department double quote so every line right or every field it's having comma at the end and uh, this is object inside object we can have many fields okay so department i'll say it so now so this is the second field you need to have a comma and last field you no need to have a comma so this is one object so if i want another object then i can copy this one and this entire set is one object okay so this name i'll change it to different name i'll say test and employee id is 1002 and this department i'll change that to testing so if you look at this json sample data you have two records and uh, this is first object and if you have more than one object you have to add a comma here and this is a syntax so you have a two objects uh, and that is wrapped with one array okay so now this array is having a two object so what we are going to do is each object we are going to form one line in our csv file okay so how each object will come in a separate line in a csv data and uh, inside the object you have each field right so that will come as a individual column in the same line so it is considered as a field and this is a key and this is a value so now we are going to convert this data to a csv format i'll just pause this data i'll open new window and i'll just go to body and select raw and we are going to post some json data in a body so i'll just paste that data and also i'll change this method to post and i'll just go local host 8081 that's where my application is running with the resource endpoint called demo now i'll just come and see my application is deployed or not see here whatever we have started whatever we have selected with the run option right so that is deployed i'm going to send the request to my application see here you are getting a csv output 
so what is happening each so this is a header so this is your flat file header name id department so that is coming from your key and you have two records right each record is coming in a separate line so this is your first object and this is a sep second object so each object is coming in a separate line and inside the object you have few three fields right so that field is separated by comma so now this is your flat file output if you want the flat file uh, this is a header the first line is whatever we call it as a header and the remaining things is thing is uh, related to your actual record so now if you wanted to exclude this header so if you don't want the header in your actual output then what you can do is you can go to this transform message here you can add a space and you can say i don't want header okay so you can say header false and then you can save it and you can go to the console so whatever the changes we have done now it's getting deployed so once that is deployed then we'll try to run the same data and we'll try to run it from the postman and see the output so now the application is coming up so once it's up right we are going to post the same data to see what is the difference it's coming in the our output so if you go and see here right so this is already started and that's why it's saying you no know, started the app and now what i'll do i'll just try to run the same data earlier when we run it it was having name id department now i'm going to run that so we'll not have that name id department here see here only two records are coming there is no header why it is not coming with header because in our code what we have done we have explicitly said header equal to false so that's the reason header is not coming similarly if you look at this output data right you are able to see each line is separated by new line character each field is separated by comma for example if you want to have a different separator so for in this one i have a comma as a separator i want to change that separator value to different things then what you can do is you can add a comma here sorry so you can add a comma after the header false where you can add multiple key value pair information here i'm going to add separator equal to instead of comma right i just wanted to give like uh, some pipe simple okay so you can give any character okay so i'll just give that and i'll save the project so now once it's deployed right so what will happen when you run it you will be able to uh, see the pipe simple instead of comma so now the application has started i'll try to run it again earlier it's coming as a comma now i'm going to run it you'll be able to see this pipe simple similarly if you wanted to give any other separator right for field separator here you can specify that so here you can say instead of pipe you can give a tilt simple or any other simple if you give it that will come as your field separator so this way you can convert your json to csv data so this is a uh, again it's not a csv is a comma separated file right but this is a pipe so you can generally you can call that as a flat file uh, which is having a pipe delimiter so similarly you can have any delimiter you can have a comma also so now what i will do i'll try to write the same data in a file system because normally if you are receiving some data and after the transformation if you wanted to write it into your file system you can do that so what you can do it uh, you can use a file connector and there is something called write and if i want to write it into some folder right i'll just look for some folder in my c colon and there is a folder already there is a demo folder and here i'll try to create one new folder like csv okay so this is a folder i'm going to write it i'll just copy the folder name here i'll just configure the path okay so the path has been configured and what i'm going to print it i'm going to print the payload and also i wanted to give a file name i'll try to give a file name here and this is the data for employee right so you can give employee.txt or you can give employee.csv because it's a csv data right and meanwhile i'll just go and change this separator to comma only so that it will be a csv file and also header also i'll try to include it which is header equal to true okay now i save everything everything and now the changes are getting uh, applied into the our application so it's getting deployed into our mule runtime so once once it's started right i'll try to run it again i'll try to run it again 
so you'll have a comma as a field separator and the header also coming now and now i'll just go to that folder and see see here the file got generated here because what we have done so we have used the file connector where we have used write in order to write the file content to our file system see here name id department and those two records are coming and also you can open and see uh, from your notepad or the plain text editor also you'll be able to see the the csv data coming in your the file as well so this way you can receive your data from the source in a json format and you can use a transfer message where you can do a minor coding where you can change some of the data wave coding here in order to change the data to csv content and also you can write into your file system thank you